we are one day out or this could be the show day vlog i ain't got a fucking clue if i'm honest with you what it's gonna be but right now i don't know if you can notice the background you're thinking you're in pure gym George, didn't you just did 30 minutes of uh, incline walking boss's orders was no no cardio just 30 minutes on the treadmill and do an upper body pump session at pure gym fasted if you follow me for a while you know i fucking hate pure gyms i absolutely hate them a lot of people are gonna be like why do you hate them Music, atmosphere, fucking absolutely abysmal. The equipment, fucking dreadful as well. But again, it's a budget gym, what the fuck do you expect? It's convenient, it's 24 hours, some people like it, some people don't. I'm not gonna get into that debate because I'll get fucking death threats again like I got before. Why? I made a video saying why um, you, you're not gonna make gains at Pure Gym, so make sure you watch that. People death threat, I'm telling my parents to go get cancer and shit, all the madness. I'm gonna go in for a pump session, this should be fucking fun. I haven't trained here in years, not gonna lie, so this should be good. I'm chatting off when I, yeah, just get on with it. She wanna fuck with the real tub, all these lines man built up, got the hole in my shoe box filled up, see the clip, the clip be filled up, get caught on the up block, get straight on drill cuz, like how can you talk to my guys, and you still ain't done no drills blood. I'm ashamed these blood club pagans, 7v2 and you had your shavers, them man didn't do no wetting, these man didn't do no action, JS I'm a well known savage, come round there I'll show you about badness, young G's come I'll show you about trapping, flip that pack get straight to the bagging, and if man wanna talk about banging, rise up the dots and slide where you're hanging, me and Temps on the 3-double-O, Rams on waist just know it's a hazard, just like back in the day, Scoring old school bangers, three of my guys that's locked in banger. These man love talk and snap, live in the flesh, these man don't chatter. Light skin ting with a beauty, smooth and fit, but she wish. We have another delivery. One thing I love about Amazon Prime is you can just order it, and you know, later on that day, on some particular products, it's all right, absolutely splendid. So I'll show you what I got uh, needed. It is in this fucking actually open. I got myself. Right, I'm gonna be a friend, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Why is packaging so over the top now? Because I got myself a new milk wrap bag, which actually looks really, really good from what I can see here. If you open it up here, hopefully nothing falls out, nothing scares me. So we got our top wear in there, slightly bigger top wears this time. I have I have another one which is really kind of small, so that's good. Where I've absolutely ruined all of this. That is a ice pack, it's fantastic. Inside here you've got a little bit for like, it'll give you a, it'll give you a shaker as well, my jeez. Got a new shaker which is brilliant, superb. That will go straight in the side there. I didn't even know that, fantastic, that's made me happy. Hopefully there's a surprise in here. Ah, it's just about the actual bag. Slightly disappointed with that. And at the top here, I'm hoping we have more, some more surprises. Ah, oh, it's just one bag. <laughs> oh, we've got one at the back here. We've got a zip at the back. I can get that. I got myself a meal prep bag. This one's from Amazon, of course. No shit, George. And it cost me about £50, which is quite expensive. But am I going to probably use it after prep? Probably not. Do I like wasting my money? Yes. That is the worst like, review I've ever done of a, of a bag. Why is that not staying there? That is absolutely doing my head. Stay there, you little fucker. There we go. That beautiful. Slots. Fantastic. Two minutes, 20 fucking seconds. Jesus, George. Just waffling shite. What's good, people? So we arrived in Bracknell, which is where I'm staying. A hotel, well, Airbnb-wise. A bit of a shit hole, not going to lie to you. But saying that, I'm from Luton and Luton isn't any better, not gonna lie to you. In Tesco's right now, picking up a few little bits and bobs for tomorrow, because I need some meal prep and stuff like that. Then I'm gonna go and put my feet up. I'm gonna go to the Airbnb, put my feet up, and I'm gonna watch the football, because Norwich and Liverpool play. And I predict, if I had to predict right now, 4-0 Liverpool, 4-0 Liverpool. Oh. As I pick up some dark chocolate, yeah, fantastic. But yeah, that's the plan of action right now. Not really much else to say upon that. Just gonna get some few bits and bobs and then fuck off back to the Airbnb. Crikey, that bloody crikey. How, I've never said that in my life, crikey. That Tesco's was probably the most ghetto Tesco's that I've ever been in. I was surrounded by just general thugs, like people that were wearing kind of trousers, like the jeans were halfway down their ass. And I'm thinking, cry, like, how can you walk around like that and let it be comfortable? Well, just. How is that comfortable? Anyway, my Airbnb is 1.2. Starting route to 23 okay. Anthony Wall. Okay, I've just given away my address. Anyway, this video is going to come out afterwards. Then at the roundabout, 
take the first exit. But what I was going to say is my Airbnb is 1.2 miles away from this Tesco's, which is fantastic because if I run out of something or if I stress, Tesco's is open 24 hours and I can just pop down here at 3 o'clock in the morning if I really want to, which I definitely will not be doing that for sure. I packed my bag. I'm going away for one night, of course, but I've seemed to, you know, standard pack like I've bloody packed for two weeks or I'm moving out. Don't know why I always do that. I always bring more than what I should. Take the first I should really stop speaking and paying attention to the bloody road and where I'm going because I do not have a clue where I'm going. Left here. Yep. Left here. Bracknell. What a fantastic area. The Tesco's are full of thugs. Look like we're gonna bloody get stabbed in there. Dear Lord. But anyway, let's get to the fucking Airbnb and fucking watch the football because football's on in fucking five minutes. Watch the football. Guys, let me show you the, uh, the gaff quickly. It took me a little bit of a while to kind of, I had to go down uh, some, some rough old routes to actually find the room that I'm staying in, but it's actually really nice, believe it or not. So this is a little bit of the tour of the room that I'm staying in. Fantastic, look at this, oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful, got our little open kitchen, little bit. They even gave me some, you know, some bread. They've even presented some lovely cereal, which I might still, you know, a little biscuit, which I definitely will not be eating, unfortunately. Got some different teas here, some organic kind of teas, some hippie stuff. Got the bed where the magic will definitely not be happening. Within here, I think we have the bathroom, I believe. We have, oh, very classy. It's very, smells clean. You know that clean smell? Fantastic. So we got a shower, we got there. I'll probably lay a few logs in there. You know, the nervous shits that you have. We got like a little seti bit here with a little telly in the corner. We got, welcome George. Ah, oh, it's fantastic. Look at that, it's really nice. And in here, I'm not sure it's locked, that door, which is slightly worrying. This is a room, very nice. I quite like it. Actually, I really like it. It's better than the one we stayed in last week, for sure. Pictures don't lie this time. Last one I stayed in last week, the pictures were just fucking, just lying to me. But yeah, this is the little house tour. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, we definitely getting a good review from the Georgie boy. Yeah, lovely. Might have a wank. Celebrate and have a wank tonight in the bed. Yeah, just splodged over your sheets, love. <laughs> Let's hope she does not watch this. Imagine that, she's a, subscri a subscriber. I'd have also got the Wi-Fi written on the wall over there as well. Fantastic. And now we just sit back and chill. Got my blue light blockers on. Gonna turn off these lights in these rooms. Also watching the Liverpool game and the 2 0 up already. And I've missed both the fucking goals. What's the chances of they don't score for the rest of the game now? They just don't score and I've missed both the goals. But anyway, fuck it, who cares? I'm a Chelsea fan anyway. Playing Sunday. What do I think? Do you think we beat Manchester United? I don't know how it's gonna go. I really don't know how it's gonna go. Got one more meal left. I've got my oats to eat. And then, ooh, fucking hell. Um, got my oats to eat and then gonna just relax and just prepare for tomorrow um, And yeah back on the old stage again Nervous excited not gonna lie um, I, can't, I can't fucking wait not gonna lie to you. It's gonna be hopefully a lot more competitive this time round um, a few more People on stage. I'm mean, excited 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 gonna love you and leave you for now And I'll catch up with you in a bit motherfucker finishing up my day of course with the fantastic Oats and I've actually cooked them to perfection as well adding a little less volume in my oats tonight Because what I'm very guilty of is adding like a kilo worth of bloody water to my oats So I've dropped about 250 milliliters of water um, but that Finishing off the day, watching that. And of course, it's half time right now. And that, my friends, is the scoreline. Wow. Liverpool absolutely demolishing Norwich, which is expected. Fucking hell. But yeah, gonna round off the day here. I'm chatting a load of fucking waffle, chatting shit as usual. Gonna eat my oats, chill, um, and prepare myself, like I mentioned, for tomorrow. Anyway, guys, see you in a bit. Show day weighing 144 and three quarters, 65.7, 10 stone four and three quarters.
Good morning guys, so it is show day um, and what I've done this morning is I got up nice and early and I meal prepped my foods for the day. So meal number one is going to be Rice crispy or Cocoa Pops, I'll show you that. My second meal of the day is going to be 60 grams of rice cakes, caramel rice cakes and 20 grams of lint dark chocolate. I'm using this one if anyone gives a shit. Some 85% lint dark chocolate. We then got the same meal again. 60 grams of rice cakes and 20 grams of lint dark chocolate. Then we have 300 grams of egg whites and one packet of long grain rice. This is my post show meal, which will go straight in. Prepping all my meals just to make sure that I am ahead of all of this type of shit. So I took some um, progress pictures and I sent it over. I actually sent a video over to AJ this morning. Um, I look a little bit front from the flat, I look front from the flat. I look a bit flat from the front when I do my front relaxed, but, but generally this is the feedback that AJ gave me based upon my look. Hello, Nettie. Good morning. So I think actually you are a little fuller. You're not a lot fuller, but you're a little fuller. The reason why is because yeah, in that front relax and some of your front poses, you still look a little flat and you lack muscle volume. And that, that's just usually the way you'll look you when you wake up regardless. Okay, so that's kind of okay. The reason why I think you look a little fuller is because in your back poses, you've got a lot more pop, a lot more pop to those back poses. Like, just, you look crisper, you look a little drier in the back poses. And mate, those looked not good yesterday. Those looked pretty bad yesterday, the back poses. So you're definitely full of there, but you're still not where I want you to be. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of work today to just get in a bit more food but make sure we're not obviously taxing your digestive tract either by pulling in so much food volume. Okay, so with meal one, um, I don't know, it would be ideal now if you had some like honey or jam. I don't know whether there's any in the Airbnb um, that they left over for you or something like that. Um, that would be fucking ideal if there is. And what I want you to do is I don't want you stressing out about having to weigh it on the scales because it would just be a fucking nightmare. All I want you to do is with your 60 grams of rice cakes, just cover it with a very thin layer of jam, normal jam. So that's the feedback from AJ. We're going to add a little bit of jam into meal number one and meal number meal number two as well. Um, and then we can assess how we're looking from there. So that's an extra like 48 grams of carbs going in. Just so I can fill out a little bit more because... One thing we found in my previous show is we, we want to keep food volume as low as possible. I don't want to add more food. Notice how I'm just having rice cakes and dark chocolate. And you might be thinking, what the fuck is that, George? What we want to try and do is we want to try and keep my midsection as tight as possible because we know my midsection isn't the best. That's the plan of action going forward. I've got a few bits and bobs to do. I need to get over to the venue for about half past nine so I can get my tan and stuff. So I'm going to leave in about half an hour, 45 minutes time. But other than that... That's where we're at and hopefully you're getting a little bit more of an insight regarding what I'm doing all that type of good stuff. For my breakfast or my meal number one, 125 grams of cocoa pops with 50 grams of whey. I use some almond milk and a little bit of water, mixed it up in there, obviously give it a little bit of a shake. Yeah, a little bit of that and then poured it in there. We're also gonna have four of these jams and I'm also gonna have 20 grams of uh, dark chocolate to go with that meal. Don't know if to put the dark chocolate in here or not. I don't fucking know, I don't know what to do. But that is gonna be my meal number one. Adding in, of course, the extra additional four of these, like I mentioned in my previous bit, so. Uh, yeah, lovely. Do I add jam into here? Jam into cereal? Is that weird? I don't know. Damn. What's up guys? So driving to the venue this morning, I have my tan booked to the venue with someone called Nicola. Uh, she sounds quite uh, enthusiastic on the on the chat that we had, which is good. I like a few enthusiastic people. That wasn't sarcastic either. Weighed in this morning, of course, two, actually two pounds lighter than my previous well, last week which is quite interesting i looked at my i took some photos and uh, i mentioned that i look flat from the front um so i was slightly a little bit worried from there and obviously since aj's implemented a little bit more food this morning um hopefully i'll kind of fill out throughout the day i believe i'll be going on stage around about it's hard to say because you never know how the shows are ran but i'd say roughly about one or two, something like that, maybe two, three, something like that. I ain't got a fucking clue, I'm just guessing there. Um, so hopefully, with a little bit more food in this morning, 
hopefully I can fill out a little bit later into the show but generally I'm going into the show just more chilled and not putting too much pressure on myself I'm always guilty of putting a lot of pressure on myself and just getting let down and getting upset or whatever it may be but I'm just going to try and enjoy the experience a lot more socialise with people a lot more instead of kind of separating myself like I did a little bit in my last show because I was really kind of focused on wanting to beat everyone wanting to win and this time around I'm just going to go and enjoy it because yeah why fucking not at the end of the day you can't really dictate who's going to turn up at the show you know you can't dictate who wins and mile. all that type of yeah, shit um, uh, yeah so that's how I'm feeling right now I'm going to make sure I get to the venue nice and early because uh, I don't I hate being fucking late and I'm very I've been guilty in the past of being late for some particular event, events but to be fair around this area I believe it or not it's pretty fancy not going to lie to you I've drove past some f big old houses I thought Bracknell or whatever or Cambly was a bit of a shithole and it is to a certain extent but there's some nice very nice houses which motivates me to want a big house which I may potentially never ever get oh look there's a Waitrose there definitely classy Waitrose is classy as fuck damn and it looks yeah it looks well modern that I wish I could show you but yeah, waffling, two minutes of me waffling there. Uh, that's kind of how I'm feeling where I'm at. Get me to the venue, get me that fucking tan on so I look like I've gained 10 pounds of muscle. Um, and uh, it seems weird, when you're at a bodybuilding show and everyone's tanned up, you think, yeah, it's, like, it's just normal. But if you see someone tanned up like that in the street, you think, what the fuck are they looking like? Uh, but yeah, I don't know why I said that. Anyway, bye. Remember, we don't want him sweating, all right? No sweating. <laughs> yeah. Okay, just close it out. So let that settle in, alright? Yeah. Especially really like cold on your body, you're a little bit like shaky like that. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, look fantastic, mate. That's it. Flex your abs a little bit. Flex that quad. Nice, nice. Right, so first layer of tan done. I'm back in about an hour's time to get my second layer. A lot better than what it was last week. The last week's tan was just. I looked like I was. Like on a building site, it's just been mucky and I know a lot of people in the comments were telling me, George, you need to sort that tan out. So we've actually got a proper spray tan this time, so looking a little bit more better. Meal number two, going in at 10 o'clock. We have 60 grams of rice cakes, caramel rice cakes. We have some jam, which I got from uh, the Airbnb. And we also have 20 grams of Lindt dark chocolate. Um, as AJ said, the food's going in a little bit more today. Um, see, there's AJ, chatting away. Um, so that's what, that's what the plan is right now. You can eat that, and I have no idea what time I'm on stage today, so it kind of is what it is. Um, so I'm excited to Good, create tension. Really dry down the side of your legs, man. Yes. Oh, is that big? Yeah, yeah, it's so good. It's very good today, though. It's like, this is very I can feel, I can just buy, I can yeah. feel a lot of way full of like, yeah. things. Uh... So I try some? You feel a bit more alive than this morning already? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the control to midsection is good. Yeah. It just hides everything that's bad about that. Because. Mm -hmm. When you do that, like yeah, you have condition up here and you have condition in the arms and delts, 
but it ju this is the main distraction. It yeah. just looks like an empty space because you're not flexing down on your abs. And when you do, there's no real connection there to form splits mm. that make your abs look good. So I think going like that, so you completely hide that area and you've got decent traps, it just looks better. Well, you tried it, I just think it bring, when I do that, I just think it brings out my, um, it doesn't bring out my arms quite small, like when I go, uh, my arms are not Yeah, thick. Yeah, I know, but at least you're hiding your main weak, the way, the main weakness. I think that looks cleaner. Oh, I'm fucking... And your traps look sick. Yeah. That just looks messy. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, George! Guys, I'm so glad you all stepped forward onto the line then because you're about to get it mercilessly for missing the fact. Please, Come on, George! To your right. That's the one, man! To your right. George Osborne! Number six, please press your heel to the floor. Thank you. And gentlemen, please face forwards. Okay, guys. Again, make sure you've got plenty of elbow room. You will be split up and prepared separately anyway. Double voices. That's the one, George! Yes! So one, George Osborne! Number four! This is it, Isaac! Nice, George, nice! Okay, gentlemen. I said, George. What up, mate? Yes, Isaac. Come on, George! Yeah, nice, George! Let's go, George! Judges, Isaac, judges! Yes, mate, that's it. Nice, George! Okay, gentlemen, relax. Yeah. Let's go again. Double biceps. It's yours, Harrison. Come on. Come on, George. Yeah, man, bring it. Invitation to the finals, 
Fourth place went to number eight, George Osborne. Well done, George! Goes to number nine, Isaac Thacker. And runner-up in the junior men. Second place goes to number four, Harris Jones. <laughs> junior men's champion for 2019, number seven, Josh Bailey. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, what incredible junior men's lineup. <laughs> So fourth place today in the UK DFBA um, junior bodybuilding class, very tough class. However, we did receive a third place trophy and an invite to the finals in October, which is something they rare they, they said that they rarely do. They don't. Um, pretty much, I got joint third. If I'm on a, it, technically, um, they couldn't decide between the third and fourth place. Uh, and and for me, I mean, of course, like I yes, I am upset and, and disappointed because you don't do this prep for. For, for third or fourth place, of course you do it for first place, but to receive a trophy for finishing fourth and an invite to the finals must mean that I, I'm, I'm good enough to be there. They wouldn't just hand this out like they mentioned. They rarely ever hand or give fourth place a trophy. Like I don't, I didn't see any other class today get the fourth place or a trophy for, for finishing fourth place. So that kind of really meant a lot to me. Um, and you know, I could sit here and use the excuse of you know I was probably the lightest on stage by at least five kilos, which is probably true. Um, a lot, a lot of the individuals are a lot more taller, a lot more bigger than me, which is true but I you know we know that we know that I'm not going to be on the biggest on stage we know that unfortunately this year I'm not going to win shows and that's the reality of things and I, there's a, there's only a certain amount of condition I can bring to the stage um you know like the you know I'm just I'm not big enough simple as that simple as that and you guys are very aware of that I'm very much aware of that um and 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 I know a lot of people are going to tell me George you need to work on your midsection midsection control is awful yes I totally agree me and AJ are are, are working on that we're trying to find the exact issue as to why my midsection control isn't the greatest like is it food choices is it the water intake is it something in Internal, which is causing like a hernia potentially something like that which is causing is it just a lack of connection my muscle connection is it underdeveloped I have like a cloudy look to my midsection which we are trying to work upon um, and, and definitely something for me right now is working on vacuums a lot of people have told me you need to work on vacuums I've never done it before so I have two weeks now to improve my, on my midsection because of what I do believe and it's really annoying is that my physique, like my condition is really good, like I'm in proportion, but my midsection is that way off that it takes away from the rest of my physique, which is really, really annoying because I've dug so hard to get these striated glutes, which I have. I had the best glutes on stage. I don't care what anyone says. I've worked extremely hard to have those in, but it's just that midsection that lets me down and it's something which I definitely need to work on through nutrition, through water intake, potential sodium intake, food choices, you know, uh, training abs, underdeveloped, vacuum, all that type of stuff is something which I'm definitely going to work on from now. Um, so I have two weeks to the UK, no, the BMBF Midlands and I'm competing in the lightweight category which is 70 kilos and under. So I'm going to be up against people that are roughly around the same body weight as me, hopefully the same height as well. Uh, well, pretty much the same height. So it's going to be more of a fair contest and I do believe, I, I probably won't win a show, but I do believe that I'll be better suited or have a better opportunity um, within the lightweights instead of the junior bodybuilding this year because the caliber of juniors especially today like if you was there 
I was backstage and I was like, I've definitely came last here. Like when I was on stage looking at the other individuals, I was like, fuck, I've come last. I've, I've definitely come last. These mass monsters are, they, they are, there were some mass monsters there for sure. Um, but it just goes to show that condition is rewarded. And uh, don't get me wrong, the two lads that I did beat were a lot bigger than me, but I was a lot better conditioned than them, than them uh, which does get rewarded. So if you are going into your first bodybuilding show and that, make sure you fucking bring some condition. So another trophy added to the the trophy collection this year that's two uh, another invite as well so that's another positive and i haven't cried this time around which is fantastic so um yeah always looking to improve and what i, what I want to show guy showcase to you guys is that i'm just the average person at the end of the day i'm not a genetic elite elite but what i want to showcase and motivate and inspire people is that you can achieve anything like i've got a trophy here i've been rewarded for my hard work and if you put in the hard work if i can motivate and inspire you to do something like this like step on stage which is, is is a big achievement for me because I, I used to shy away from anything like this when I was a lot younger then I, I'm doing my job because it's not all about winning all the time sometimes it's about you know inspiring motivating and you know taking that extra step forward like my business has gone um, uh, way bigger than what it ever has before I started competing my followings got up on social media you know I'm I, I love doing what I'm doing on a regular basis so there's just more to it than the, the body that you know winning in that first place trophy although yes it would be fucking nice to win that first place trophy it's not always you know the number one thing so it is the number one thing to me i'm fucking if i'm honest with you let's just speak let's get to the point i'm fucking pissed off i wanted to win of course you want to win but when i saw the lineup i was like fucking no, i am not winning today and that's the reality of things but we move on like i said two weeks to improve upon what we said i've been talking for five minutes now i'm sure you don't want to hear me yabber on about this anymore um thank you for all the support as usual the messages the the people shout my name in the um in the crowd and that i love you all um anyway gonna go into tesco's pick up a few bits and then i'm gonna have a fucking shower because my eyes are stinging from this bloody tan as my eyes water and i'm not crying it's because the sun's in my eyes probably crying knowing me anyway i'm fucking six minutes now come on george